Hello, friend. This is Ryan Hicks at TalkToProfit.com, and today I want to talk to you about AI and college and how things are going to eventually turn out. Now, I made a video about college and how many people are going into college not realizing their jobs or the jobs they're going to be seeking after college aren't going to exist because of the rapid advancements in robotics and AI technology. And so there's some pushback on that. People are saying, well, you don't understand this job's not going to be outsourced and that job's not going to and AI can't replace this. And you don't understand what about answering the phone and doing this. And the technology is not anywhere close to being able to replace humans yet. Now, in some cases, that's true. But I want to show you something from Google I.O. 2018. This is their keynote speech. And one of the aspects of their keynote speech was Google Duplex. It is part going to be part of Google's assistant where it will be able to actually call a hairdresser or salon or whatever, whoever you need to call and actually set up an appointment for you. Now you may say, well, that's going to sound too robotic and it won't be able to, what if the person says something weird, it won't understand and it won't be able to work. But this is current technology right now and it currently can do a perfectly acceptable job. It sounds a little robotic in some places, but that can easily be tweaked and fixed. Right here and now, this technology exists. This could easily replace a lot of virtual assistants and a lot of people who are doing phone work and setting appointments and even answering the phone and doing the other side of it or taking the appointment from someone. This technology already exists to replace those people and to do it extremely inexpensively and far more efficiently. It can do it 24 hours a day, seven days a week, nonstop, where a human either has to be relieved by another person to take their spot, or it just has to get shut down after a certain point. So let's watch this demonstration. I want you to see this is technology that currently exists right here, right now. And where do you think this is going to be in four years? If you're going to get started in college right now, in four years time, you think this isn't going to be two or three times better than it is now? Let's just say it's only 10% better than it is now. It can already do things that many people who are setting themselves up to be executive assistants or things like this, and they're going learning certain things. You want to be a, you want to be a legal assistant. You think this AI can't replace you really quickly because it can instantly find sources, instantly find something that the law firm may need? and do that 24 hours a day, seven days a week? My friend, you need to really rethink some of these choices you might be making if you're thinking about going to college for things that aren't directly related to AI technology or robotics. You really need to stop and reconsider this. Now, I obviously can't tell you what to do, but technology is coming, and this is a good thing, not a bad thing, that's going to replace a lot of jobs that are inefficient or not very effective, not very valuable. And you need to put yourself in a position, if you want to work a job, that is going to be lined up toward the future. So let's watch this video. I want you to see this in action so you can see what is going on right here, right now, and just think in a few years where the technology is going to be. As I said earlier, our vision for our system is to help you get things done. It turns out a big part of getting things done is making a phone call. You may want to get an oil change schedule, maybe call a plumber in the middle of the week, or even schedule a haircut appointment. You know, we are working hard to help users through those moments. We want to connect users to businesses in a good way. Businesses actually rely a lot on this, but even in the US, 60% of small businesses don't have an online booking system set up. We think AI can help with this problem. So let's go back to this example. Let's say you want to ask Google to make you a haircut appointment on Tuesday between 10 and noon. What happens is the Google Assistant makes the call seamlessly in the background for you. So what you're going to hear is the Google Assistant actually calling a real salon to schedule the appointment for you. Let's listen. Hi, I'm calling to book a woman's haircut for a client. Um, I'm looking for something on May 3rd. Sure, give me one second. Mm-hmm. 
Sure. What time are you looking for around? At 12 p.m. We do not have a 12 p.m. available. The closest we have to that is a 1.15. Do you have anything between 10 a.m. and uh, 12 p.m.? Depending on what service she would like, what service is she looking for? Just a woman's haircut for now. Okay, we have a 10 o'clock. 10 a.m. is fine. Okay, what's her first name? The first name is Lisa. Okay, perfect. So I will see Lisa at 10 o'clock on May 3rd. Okay, great. Thanks. Great. Have a great day. Bye. Now, there's also the same AI calling a restaurant, and what you're going to find out is that it wouldn't take a whole lot for this to be changed and tweaked and used a little bit differently to replace a whole slew of jobs out there that currently have people in them. And many people are working toward positions. They're going to college. They're learning for careers that are going to be easily replaceable, not in 20 years, not in 10 years, in a few years. We're talking about a very short time period before this happens. Now, I'm not saying this is a negative thing because some people are talking about this like, oh, this is the end of the world and it's all bad. It's not bad. This is a good thing. People should be in jobs that are effective, that are useful, that are valuable, that are actually using their gifts and abilities, not in jobs that can easily be done by AI. But I want you to listen to this too. Look how the AI does the task efficiently. No human needed anymore. And then really stop and consider whatever career path you're going down, is there a way that this could be readily adopted. And there's all kinds of other AI projects. This is just one in Google. There's all kinds of other ones going on for all kinds of other industries. If you do not believe that your job or potential job or career is in line to be replaced by robotics or AI technology, my friend, you might be mistaken. You might be very mistaken. I have some business interests in some AI companies. And one of the things that is going on is almost every single job there are tweaks to ai being done and there are actual programs being done to replace that job with ai absolutely right here and now and this is already being done all across the world in hospitals where there are doctors who basically just make sure a robot and the ai technology behind it are doing the right thing but the doctor's not even doing the surgeries anymore. This is all over the place. This has been in factory lines for many, many years. They've been getting more and more robotics involved, less and less people involved. And while there are still problems in some of those areas, this stuff is getting rapidly fixed, tweaked, and made to replace people that are in jobs that are easily replaceable. You need to put yourself in a better position. You need to be an investor. You need to be wise with your finances. There are too many people out there wasting money on, on frivolous things, entertainment, sports, all these things, and they aren't using their finances in a way that's going to be the best for their future, their long-term future. Because many of you are expecting your job's going to be around for 20, 30, 40 years, and I'm telling you, and this is not negative, this is something for you to look forward to, you might be easily replaced. This opens an opportunity for you. Are you going to be one of these people that's left behind staring at your desk wondering how you're getting replaced? Or are you going to be one of those people that realizes this and moves into areas that's going to put you in the best position that this isn't going to affect you at all? That you will continue to do better and better each and every day and become better and better. Let's go ahead and watch this AI in its call to a restaurant. That was a real call you just heard. The amazing thing is the assistant can actually understand the nuances of conversation. We've been working on this technology for many years. It's called Google Duplex. It brings together all our investments over the years in natural language understanding, deep learning, text-to-speech. By the way, when we are done, the assistant can give you a confirmation notification saying your appointment has been taken care of. Let me give you another example. Let's say you want to call a restaurant, but maybe it's a small restaurant which is not easily available to book online. The call actually goes a bit differently than expected. So take a listen. See how may you? Hi, um, I'd like to reserve a table for Wednesday the 7th. 
for seven people? Um, it's for four people. Four people when? Um, Today, next Wednesday at 6 p.m. Oh, actually, we leave here for like after like five people. For few, four people, you can come. How long is the wait usually to uh, be seated? For when tomorrow or weekday or? For next Wednesday, uh, the seventh. Oh no, it's not too busy. You you, you can come for four people, okay? Oh, I got gotcha. you. Thanks. Bye bye. Again, that was a real call. We have many of these examples where the calls quite don't go as expected, but the assistant understands the context, the nuance. It knew to ask for wait times in this case and handled the interaction gracefully. So my friend, I hope you understand this. This is not meant to be negative because I see all this as being good. This, this is good. Technology is good. Advancement is good. If you look at history and all the negative, awful things that have happened, advancements in technology have brought betterment to humanity, not worse things. And for every instance where people could say, well, what about war? What about this? There's been war going on since humanity existed. People have been killing one another. But as a whole, things are better than they've ever been. And this is a chance for you, regardless of whatever career you may be in or maybe going into, to rethink some things and put yourself in the best position by either investing in AI or getting involved in a career that's in surrounded around that, working in that field, or working on robotics, repairing the robotics, whatever it may be, investing in companies that supply the parts for robotics or do the mining for the materials that go into the robotics, whatever it may be, you need to be thinking about those kind of things and putting yourself in the best position to be successful and continue to be successful as these changes happen. Because these changes are good, but for many people, they're gonna be negative because they're gonna be caught unaware. Don't let that be you. Keep advancing, keep growing yourself, bettering yourself so that you're not replaceable. No AI can replace you. No ro robot can replace you. You are irreplaceable. Become that person. And you do that by bettering yourself each and every day. My friend, I pray it's been a blessing for you. May God bless you richly.